this is the ampere e vehicle there were three batteries here and one battery on this compartment and i have uh, taken this batteries out the wire terminals are here the negative terminal is here and the positive terminal is here and i want to replace the battery before replacing the battery please clean this and if you find any uh, rust you can either brush it out else if you have some paint you can paint it that's all we can do and one of the important thing is about this controller these are the controllers fit in the uh, seat uh, behind the seat down the seat so you'll have to brush this dirt out i have already brushed there are lots of dirt as it is here there are lots of uh, dirt i just removed uh, the dirt thick dirts because this is a heat sink of the controller only when the dirts are away it can effectively sink the heat so you'll have to remove the dirts dust on the controller specifically whenever you replace the battery or whenever you remove the seat you kindly replace or uh, clean this dust these are the dc dc converter this is a dc dc converter it also has a heat sink and i am just cleaning this this is the this is the battery that was inside amp, uh, ampere scooter you can see its rating the rating is uh, visible here you can see the rating you can see how it has bulged remember it is uh, c10 charging so see to that you charge for uh, 10 hours and uh, you don't charge more and there's charge indicator too on the charger but still don't overcharge it that's very essential and life of the battery is important so now this battery shows around 10.5 volt this bulged battery shows around 10.5 volt you can see on the meter and this is the only battery that shows uh, less than 12 volt among the four batteries other battery shows 12 volt but still and replacing the battery is very important for a vehicle together so we have planned to replace uh, the battery and we have bought it from the ampere itself they are giving a set of four batteries and these are new batteries which is costing around 12000 i am showing you the voltage and you can see the volt uh, of the battery it will be around 12.7 new batteries will be around 12.7 they give it uh, in one year's warranty so you can uh, replace with this and our old battery too shows a better voltage I just cleaned the battery little actually ampere battery comes with one year warranty as a baby 6 plus 6 is written here and they say it should not be bulged and there are a few conditions that is written here this is the old battery this too shows a better uh, voltage. This is a discharged battery, too, shows 12.7 volt. So these batteries are good, but still, uh, if I replace one battery, this will work well, but we don't know how long it will work well. It is always advisable to replace all batteries. This too shows 12.62. And it's important to rotate the battery. We didn't rotate, rotate the battery. Uh, these batteries are three plus years old three years three months old batteries these are so what we used to do is only when the battery comes to around uh, seven, 47 volt in the uh, meter dashboard we used to place it for recharge else we don't place it for recharge so that is very important uh, don't recharge your battery before it comes to a low voltage level and if possible if you technically know it you can rotate the batteries uh, it is essential, it is good if you can rotate the first and last battery. That will help. And then uh, you can rotate the batteries uh, in between. Uh, bring the two batteries in between as first and last. That is also a good idea. So this is uh, from battery and uh, removal. Just clean it and replace the batteries. And uh, I will just show the screwing. Every battery is in series. You know, when you remove it, if you note down, you can uh, types of cable are given. So this is screw on the positive and uh, this is actually the negative, blue is negative. So here it goes from positive to negative. So that is how it has been seriously placed. I will show at the end how it has been placed inside the compartment. 
so we will have to clean all the uh, terminals of the battery so we can clean with some blade or uh, emery paper emery paper is always advisable emery paper smooth and sit so we can and this is some um, uh, metal emery paper uh, you can see the number 2 so we can clean with this you can see the how it has reacted we have to clean this and make things ready if you clean this the, the battery functioning charging and discharging would be efficient it is very essential that you clean this side well that is going to be connected on the terminal this side is very important on the other side screws come up but this is also good because through screw also your battery gets connected through screw also your battery gets connected so I am going to clean this uh, screw but still there are new screws in the battery I am going to use the new screws in the battery I am going to clean and retain with the old batteries these screws with the old batteries the batteries comes with screws so cleaning process you will have to clean and make it very clean like this you can see it here it was clean already I didn't clean this actually certain terminals are already clean the end terminals are actually a little burden and certain loose terminals are uh, the, those batteries uh, that has been exposed uh, closely on the outer side they are little uh, reactive and uh, we have placed the batteries we have cleaned the terminals and we have placed the battery and we are going to connect this uh, cables uh, one mistake what we have done is we failed to connect the cable at the lower battery there are lower batteries here and we fail to cable connect the cable here now what we have to do is it is difficult if you have a shorter screwdriver we can screw that is not a big problem if you have a shorter screwdriver if you can uh, uh, put a hand in hand goes here you can screw else it is always good if you uh, screw the ba uh, screws of the battery below battery and come to the above battery it is good place this compartment after you have screwed the battery at the lower compartment that will be advisable thank you and we have connected the wires you can see uh, the wiring it has been connected it was full of dirt and everything was clean it was full of dust you will not be able to see this color it was such a position just brush it you don't need to use water remember just brush it use your uh, toothpaste uh, toothbrush you can brush it it will become like this you, have, you, need, uh, you also need to brush this wire too you will have uh, dust settled on this, brush this wire too. And if you have uh, something like this, you can see uh, a little uh, depreciation, damage on the wire. Use some sleeve, you can get this type of sleeve. Get this sleeve placed here. And make a steel grip tape or a cellophane tape on both ends, that is enough. Now I started to test uh, the total voltage from end to end. Now you can see it is 51.1 volt. Series of 4 batteries. It can go when fully charged it can go up to 53. Generally it is 51 point something in series. Now what I am going to do is I am going to place an insulator here as it was earlier. And uh, there is a bracket. I will fit and show you. That's a bracket which has to be placed there. This I cleaned this bracket which was full of dust. It will be placed here. I'll place it and show you. It will be placed like this. I'll place it and show you. And as said by me, these insulators were present earlier. Be careful in listening to what insulators has been placed. So uh, place the pads. We have pad in between the batteries too. It is very important. It is not visible. It is important to keep a pad between pads too. That is very essential. You have kept a pad in between batteries and a pad in between these batteries. You need space. Because battery is to get heat up when we have been charging. So naturally there has to be a space for air to breathe. So we have screwed it. And one more thing we will have to switch off the MCB that is inside the seat. You can see the MCB inside the seat. I have switched off the MCB, you can see it is in the off condition. Switched off the MCB before uh, placing and screwing the wires of the battery. I will fit it up 
and switch it on. Let me switch on the MCB. I want to switch on the MCB. Switch on. And we will switch on the power and see how the voltage is. It shows 51.3 volt. You can see on the dashboard. I will just see whether I am able to accelerate. You can see the wheel rotating. It responds. You can see the speed it shows. Yes, it goes, it shows 25, but actually in real time it goes 22. At the top speed it goes uh, till 32. So it works. This and finish it. And thank you for your patience. It will take around, uh, if you are going to do it more uh, in a better way, it will take around 2 and a half hours. If you are going to do it quickly, it will take around uh, 1 hour without much cleaning. If you are going to clean a little bit, it will take around 2 hours. Have a nice day. Good day. This is Sunday. You are spending time at home uh, making this useful thing. Thank you. Have a good day.